Kathy Raley Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Join now with Kathy Raley, head coach of the women's lacrosse team. And coach, let's first talk about the semifinal game. You guys were able to host Albright and had a very strong offensive performance in that game. Sure. You know, this week was a was a tale of ups and downs. Uh, Wednesday, Shirley wasn't up. Um, everything was working on Wednesday. We had a great fast break. We dominated draw control. We dominated ground balls. The defense looked really together and and cohesive. Uh, offense moved the ball well again. Um, those were things that we wanted to do heading into Saturday, and we just weren't quite ready to do that. On the positive note, uh, Olivia Montero getting her 200th point was was really exciting for us, mm -hmm. and for her, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the clear percentage was awfully high against Albright, mm -hmm. and then against Messiah, your guys' cause turnovers ratio was awfully high, mm -hmm. too. Talk a little bit about that defensive effort against Messiah that unfortunately wasn't up to it, but... You know, it was still a strong effort. Sure. Um, well, we went in with a game plan that we wanted to not let Messiah score in transition, and that's kind of where we dropped the ball mm. overall as a unit. We thought we could beat them if we got them into a 7v7 format. So if, as long as we could force them to settle, we thought we had a really good chance of getting the ball back from them. That certainly proved to be true. As long as they settled, we really had some great takeaways. Mm -hmm. Amazing double teams, uh, great checks. Um, Jamie Bettner, Sarah Rorty really took the ball from them time and time again. Uh, what we didn't do, however, is make that turn into goals. That We didn't take those possession opportunities and head down the field and finish it with a goal. We would finish it with a forced shot or a forced feed to the middle. Um, so that's kind of where the game plan fell apart. Well, you talk about the youth. You know, you mentioned Sarah Rorty. Another one that comes to mind is Mallory Davila with uh -huh. two goals in yes. that game. Just how excited are you for how well the young players played in their first experience in Mac Commonwealth play. You know, they were the they were cool as cucumbers in that. They were the ones that didn't have the nerves. Uh, they went out there and they just played hard from start to finish, refused to give up. I, I'm so proud of that effort. Mm -hmm. um, they're not going to be as um, uh, timid come 2018. I think that this is going to kind of um, set in and they're going to simmer all mm -hmm. summer long on the fact that they didn't play their best. And when they come back in the fall of 18, I think it's going to be our focus. I think that that conference championship is theirs to grab if they work hard in the summer and, and kind of let that fester in there, that they should have done better, had a better performance mm -hmm. as a group. And a group that has performed well over their careers, or yeah. these four seniors, mm -hmm. really high, potent offensive sure. efforts. Just talk a little bit about you know, how much you're going to miss them, especially the 200 career points right. from Olivia Montero. Right. But in their leadership on the team and getting these young players involved. Sure, they were such positive leaders this this year. Um, I'm so thankful for that. I think we really had a culture that we wanted to get better every day. Mm -hmm. They welcomed in this large group of freshmen um, and really made it feel like family, which is so important. We haven't always had that, and I think that I think that the, one of the reasons the freshmen performed so well, they were in an environment that they felt comfortable going for things. They were in an environment where they were comfortable. Um, passing it to each other and not afraid to make mistakes. And when you have that environment with a, such a young, when half mm -hmm. your team is, is a freshman or sophomore, um, then that really lets you kind of spread your wings and fly. And, and we owe that to the captains with that. Mm -hmm. uh, and the senior class in general, they were very supportive. A very supportive and very proven. One person yeah. coming to mind is Brady Hare, right. our Fighting Heart right. recipient this year. And just having that type of experience and leadership for these young players knowing that they can do anything. Sure, sure. I you know, I know this senior class wanted a better performance in the last game and, and I would wish nothing more than that for them. Uh, it's unfortunate to go out that way. But they should be walking away from Stevenson Women's Across being as proud as they can mm -hmm. be. Um, they really took a team this year that had such a bump bumpy rough start uh, and turned them around and there we were in the championship again is something that I'm not sure any of us knew would would happen so um, they should take a lot of pride in that and that's through their hard work and their leadership mm -hmm. well coach I appreciate your time every week and thank you uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you, you too, after uh, every post game and yeah. being up here uh, yes. every week and yes. we wish you the best of luck and a strong summer and getting back to it next fall absolutely gonna hit the recruiting trail yeah. thank you She's Kathy Raley. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Kathy Raley Show.